What's up, YouTube? I want to go over HM Hanemori. Now, this is definitely a very trippy fragrance for me because I, when I got it, at first I didn't smell chocolate. I was like, I sure hope I did not get the fake, but I actually figured it out. Like, this is the Yo de Tole version, and this one has more of the fresh feel, but it has some chocolate and vanilla in the base. I would definitely recommend this one a little better because it's probably a little lighter. It's not going to give people headaches. Like, the EVP version has a lot more of the chocolate gourmet feel. It's probably, you know, that one's got more like the strength of Amen. It's really strong. But Hanemori is actually a hybrid kind of fragrance because you have kind of a fresh citrusy vibe going in this fragrance. You know, some candied lemon definitely gives a sharp lemon smell. But then you get nice florals that just kick in. And, you know, as it dries down, this is where, I mean, this fragrance really will take forever to dry down. And it's a very long-lasting fragrance. And honestly, I mean, I didn't know about the two different versions. And when I first got this, I definitely wasn't so sure. But this one will grow on you. It really has kind of a fresh gourmet feel. But you could wear it during the summer if you like gourmet I mean, it's ori classified as oriental vanilla. So basically, you know, you have just a little bit of woods and the vanilla and the tonka bean really kick in and there's just a little touch of chocolate. Now, sometimes I smell the chocolate and sometimes I don't. And so there's either, they don't have a chocolate note listed but they put a little in or they took a bunch of ingredients and put them together to give an almost chocolate-like smell. And you know, from Ane Mori, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the ingredients she put in here really give different smells than what you think because it's a very unique kind of fragrance. And it really is pure quality. I mean, this stuff projects perfectly. It doesn't, like, give headaches. It's not the cloying kind of projection. It's a really nice projection, almost like nothing else. I mean, this kind of stuff you could definitely wear if you're going to college parties. And, you know, for a younger person, I would definitely recommend this stuff. But, you know, you got to try it first. Definitely smell because it has kind of a touch of chocolate. I really tend to like my chocolate and I love gourmet fragrances. So this one definitely is different. And to me, it almost smells like a Unis, like if you, you got the Tokyo Milk or some of these unisex fragrances that have a little bit of floral and then some vanilla and chocolate. It almost has that feel. I mean, it doesn't smell like them, but it has that kind of feel that a woman could wear this. I mean, it definitely has a good amount of sweetness just the right amount, but it gets the sweetness from a lot of different ingredients. And, you know, the florals in this fragrance really make it sexy. Like, the florals that go with the chocolate, a little bit of chocolate. And